Once again, you are welcome to prayer time with Pastor Chris. It is 5 p.m. Australia Eastern Standard Time. I want to congratulate you for staying along, coming along with us all this while. Today we are on episode 67, and our prayer is for divine guidance, divine guidance. We want to ask for the leadings of the Holy Spirit. So I want to encourage you, call a friend and ask him to call a friend, to call a friend, so that we can all do it together. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you that, Lord, when you made this day before the foundation of the earth, you had this time and this hour in mind. And, Father, you have prepared us, God, both online and those of us who are present here, Lord, to communion with you, to communicate, Lord, our heart, desires, and your mind back to you. 
We want to thank you for your Holy Spirit who will help us. We want to thank you, Father, for the objectives of this prayer, why we have gathered. We want to thank you for those, O oh God, who will join us later. We pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will take absolute control. We ask that, Lord, he will begin and end with us. We pray the blood of Jesus and sanctify this sanctuary with his blood. And ask that, Lord, your hand will be upon us even as we pray wherever we are. I want to thank you again for all the prayer partners. And I thank you especially for this day. Strengthen us to pray. Encourage us to pray. Lift us up, O oh God, even as we pray. That you'll be able to ascend directly to the throne room. We thank you for meeting with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Episode 67. So this hour is all about inspiring you to pray, teaching you to pray, and imparting the grace for prayer. So please have this in mind. We are here to encourage you to pray, inspire you to pray, teach you to pray, and impart the grace for prayer. And today we are requesting for divine guidance. We all know in our modern world, we have new and advanced technology to give us direction wherever we want to go. This is very popular now, and this is very difficult for you to get lost because of this modern technology. And we thank God for that, for the wisdom he gives man to invent this. But there's another guidance that we need. There's another leading, another compass, another GPS that we need. That's why we are here. So please join us. So the meaning of Guidance is a person who shows the way to others, especially one employed to show tallest around places of interest. If you have visited any place of interest, you come across someone who will take you. They call them tour guide. They will guide you through, explain some few things for you to understand. The Bible also talks about divine guidance in the scriptures. So I therefore want to submit to you that God has a roadmap for each and every one of us. God has a roadmap. He has GPS ready. Whatever you use in your country, God in spiritual, in spiritual terms has a roadmap for your life. That's what we want to look at. So what is the definition of divine guidance? Divine guidance is simply when we act in full compliance with the directives of the Holy Spirit. When we fully obey his directives, his leadings, his instructions, it means you are being led by God or by the Holy Spirit. As Christians, we know that the Spirit of God can reveal himself in many ways. He can guide us in many ways, many, many ways. He can use dreams, visions, through the still small voice, but he's not limited to this. He can use even circumstances. He can use images. He can use signs. He can use a lot of things to lead us. So God is not restricted. One of the things we are going to ask is how he leads you and how you can understand his leadings. It's very important. Some of us may be in dreams, some of us in vision, some of us through still small voice, some of us circumstances, some of us images. Some of our signs, they are all part of what God, used, what God uses. 
Remember Joseph, when he had a dream, he told the dad, the dad was able to interpret. It was not difficult. Even the brothers, they were able to interpret their dreams without reference to anything. So God speaks to us in so many ways. But the important thing is that we need to understand. If you don't understand and he's saying stop, you will go. When he says go, you will stop. And as we allow him, he will show us the right choices and lead us down the best path. There's always the best for us as believers. There's always the best. Some of us are settled to the good. Some of us are settled to the better. But God wants to lead us to the best. So please, I want you to join us as we ask God. He will show you what, which step to take to keep you going the right way. That's what God has decided to do. It's very interesting to lead us in the ways we should go. And in fact, he exemplified this in Numbers chapter 9, verse 23. I love this scripture. Numbers 9, 23. Listen to what the word of God says. If you have a Bible, turn to it. To it. This is God giving us example of how he wants to lead us. At the command of the Lord, they camped. And at the command of the Lord, they set out. They kept the Lord's charge according to the command of the Lord through Moses. This is the people of Israel. The Bible says, at his command, they set up. At his command, they camped. At his command, they move. At his command, they stop. Now, he's doing it in a different way. He's doing it by the Spirit of God. That is why he has taken residence in us, so that he can lead, he can lead us. Listen to Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will, I, the I there is God. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. So this is a great promise that God wants to guide us. We know life is about what? Decisions and choices. And success is the result of right choices. If you choose right, you decide right, you will surely succeed. The level of your success depends upon the decisions and choices you make. Take note of that. The level of your success, the height you go, depends upon the decisions and the choices you make. The quality of your life depends on the right choices you make. And God wants you to make right choices in order for you to succeed. So this is the reason why God wants to lead us. He wants you to make the right choices, the right decisions, so that you can succeed. You can be successful in this life. When he planned you, when he formed you, when you were in your mother's womb, he decided that at the right time you give your life to him and then he will lead you. That's what he wants to do. Why? Because he didn't create you to fail. He created you to succeed. That's why he wants to lead you and he wants to lead me. And it's all about decisions and choices. If God leads you to make the right choice and the right decision, surely you will succeed. It is said that adults make 35,000 decisions a day. Imagine that, 35,000 decisions in a single day. That's the decisions adults make. And children make about 3,000. 
Amen. Coming here holding this mic is a decision. Setting this up is a decision. Leaving home at that time was a decision. The time I woke up, everything I did was decision. So it is true that at the end of the day, the 24 hours, you will make about 35,000 decisions. And God wants to lead you in these decisions so that you will what? You will succeed. Psalm 37 verse 23 says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. The steps of a good man. Who is a good man? A good man here is someone who has given his life to Christ. A good man here is someone who has become a Christian. A good man here is someone in whose life the Holy Spirit has influence. So before even we proceed, I want to encourage you. Here he says the steps of a good man. It's not the step of every man, a good man. And the good represents someone who has given his life to Christ. Christ is living through this person. It is the character of Christ that is being seen in this man's life. That is why he's a good man. One day somebody asked Jesus, good teacher, how can I inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus asked him, there's only one good person and that is God. Why do you call me good? Jesus was saying that by saying I'm good, you are saying I'm God. Because it's only God who is good. And when God takes residence in our life, he lives his life, his life through us. That's what the psalmist is talking about. The steps of a good person. It's not every person. But the good news is that you can become good now. Even before we start praying. So I want to encourage you. God is making an offer. And it is up to you to decide another decision if you wanted what God would offer. And this is the greatest step that you can take in your life. In fact, the greatest decision, the greatest choice that you can make is to give your life to Christ. I want to ask you, is he your God? If not, say this after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I want to be a good person. I want to come to you. I want to come to you. Because I realize. Because I realize. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I cannot help myself. I cannot help myself. So I run for help. So I run for help. Help me. Help me. By saving me. By saving me. By washing me with the blood. By washing me with the, the blood. blood you shed on Calvary. The blood you shed on Calvary. And write my name. And write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. And make me. And make me. One of your people. One of your people. In your name I've prayed. In your name I've prayed. Amen. Amen. My brother and my sister, if you prayed this pray simple prayer, you will become a good man. So now join us even as we go ahead. Let me give you some reasons for divine guidance. We can see them. We are not reading all. We can see some reasons from Psalm 140. I want to read only a little bit. The reason. But the main reason is that we've said it earlier. He wants you to fulfill the plans he has for you. He has a plan for you. And that plan comes by taking decisions and making choices. That's why he wants to lead you so that his plans will be fulfilled in your life. And Psalm 140, especially 1 to 9 says, Deliver me, O Lord, from evil people. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their heart. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent. Then poison of us is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purpose to make my steps stumble. Notice that. 
You want to make yourself stumble. You want you to make wrong choices and take wrong decisions. Verse 5. The plowed, the plowed have hidden a snare for me and cause and cause. They have spread a net by the roadside. They have set traps for me. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not feather his wicked scheme, lest they be exalted. As for the head of those who surround me, let the evil of their lips cover them. So here he's giving us reasons why it is important for God to lead us to make right choices and take right decisions. He said they continue to gather together for war. What war is he talking about? He's talking about attacks, the attacks of the enemy. If you are not being led by God, you will easily fall into their trap. They have wicked desires. Their desire is to do wicked. In fact, they are born wicked and they do wickedness. They have purpose to make my steps stumble. God wants you to succeed, but they want you to fail and fall. And in fact, they want you to fail miserably so that people can even mock at you. They have set traps for me. They plant evil things in their hearts. They have hidden a snail for us. Traps, hidden straps. They hide it, they cover it. You need divine leadings. You need divine guidance. Otherwise, you will easily fall into the trap of the enemy. They have spread a net by the wayside. Look at that. They have spread a net by the wayside. They want to feather their wicked scheme. They want to be exalted at your expense. These are the reasons, some of the reasons why we need divine guidance. So we want to begin by a confession and go into prayer. Let's begin by confession. Wherever you are, take a posture and let us begin to pray. But remember, Psalm 140, give us an idea why you should ask or request God to lead you. It's very important. Take time and read that part of, that portion of scripture and you will understand what we are talking about. The leading or the guidance of God. Say, Father in heaven. Father in heaven. Help me by your grace. Help me by your grace. To stay in an environment. To stay in an environment. That will keep my faith alive and strong. That will keep my faith alive and strong. Help me recognize. Help me recognize. Those relationships. Those relationships. And places. And places. I should avoid. I should avoid. To keep my faith. To keep my faith. From being negatively affected. From being negatively affected. Father. Father. As you show me places. As you show me places. People. People and things I should avoid and things I should avoid. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. I need. I need to do what is right. To do what is right. And give me the wisdom and, I need. And give me the wisdom to I know need. how to avoid. To know how to those avoid places. Those places and people and people in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want this to be your confession. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. This all that you are help asking God. If God doesn't help you, you easily fall yes. into the prey of the enemy. Jesus. You easily fall. Listen, he says, they lay nest at the wayside. They set traps for us to fall into it, to destroy our lives. That's all they scheme, they plan, they orchestrate. That's all that they do. The psalmist said they continually gather. But we thank God, no matter how many times they gather, Jesus. because God is leading us, yes, they will always miss our, in the target. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Commit to yourself that God will help you to live in an environment that will not negatively affect your faith. You'll be at the right place at the right time. God will choose friends for you. Those friends that are, you know, not part 
of God's agenda for your life. God himself will take them away. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, and this night, we come, Father, with heartbroken, Lord. We come with our hearts broken, Lord. We come knowing that, Father, without your allegiance, without your guidance, without, oh God, Father, the Holy Spirit instruction, without your directives, Lord, we will mislabre faith. So even as we come, Father, we pray that you will help us. Show us, oh God, the places we should avoid. Show us places we should go. Show us people we should, uh, oh God, avoid. And show us people we should mingle with. In the name of Jesus, even the church to attend, even the organization to belong, even, oh God, Father, the church is to, su the church to support. Whatever, oh Father, we pray that you will help us in the mighty in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, we I pray, pray for, for your help. Grace, Lord. I pray we pray for, for your help. Lord. I pray for we pray for your help. I need to avoid. Grant us the Places grace. I Grant us the strength. People, I need to stop in the name of Jesus. People, I need to in the hear. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you in honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Dear, Lord, Dear Lord, I boldly confess, I boldly confess that I will physically that I will physically remove myself, remove myself from unprofitable situations from unprofitable that situations are not positive for my faith. That are not positive for I my make faith. the choice I make the choice to get up. To get out and get out and get out of unbelieving, of unbelieving negative environment, negative environment that tend, that tend to pull me down. To pull me down. I'm laying aside. I'm laying aside every weight. Every weight. I'm making a break. I'm making a from break from all unhealthy environment. From all unhealthy with environment. God's help. With God's I help. I make right choices. I make right choices and right friends. And right friends. I do everything I can. I do everything to I can stay. To stay in surroundings. In surroundings that help me. That Help keep, me. My faith alive keep my faith alive and well. and well. I declare this. I declare in this. Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Make that declaration. Oh, Make that yes, declaration. Declare, you both they do it. Rosta you both they physically. There are you, certain God, places you have to avoid. Physically, there are some places you need faith. to go. Message physically, physically. Physically, but it begins from the spirit. It begins from the spirit. If God doesn't lead you, you cannot physically move yourself from that place. You cannot physically remove yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, I boldly declare that I will physically remove myself from any environment. That is negative to my faith. From any environment that will not add to my life. From any environment that will become a snare against me. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray on my behalf. I pray on behalf of your children. Everyone who has joined this prayer line. That in the name of Jesus you help us. Father, help us in the name of Jesus. Help us by your power. Help us by your spirit. Help us by your are grace in the name of Jesus. We declare, O oh Lord, we are insufficient without you. We declare, O oh Lord, we have not enough. We declare, O oh Lord, that we will make the right choices and take right decisions in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God of heaven, we thank you. Great I am, we thank you. Merciful Father, we thank you. Invisible God, we thank you. Glorious Father, we thank you. Great I am, we thank you. Show us where to go. Show us what to avoid. Show us how to do it. The things I need Father, to show us, Lord. The things I need to we want to surrender and, then the things and allow you, oh God, so that, that you have your way. Father, have your way. Father, have your way. In the name of I Jesus. Call upon you, oh God. We thank you. I call upon you, we oh God. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. He has also promised in John 16, verse 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. I love that. Advanced information. He will tell you things to come. Verse 14. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. 
Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your willingness. I thank you for your willingness to guide me in this life. To guide me in this. Help life. me to know. Help me to know and understand. And understand how you speak. How you speak and how you direct me and how you direct. Make me. it clearer. Make it clear in the name of Jesus. In the name begin of to Jesus. pray. Begin to pray. God has so many ways that He directs us. God has so many ways. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, remember our brother Peter, it was a trance, it was a trance, it was unclean animals, but he was able to understand when the messengers appeared, Lord God of heaven, we thank you for your word. You said when the spirit of truth comes, he will teach us all things. He will guide us into all truth. In the name of Jesus. He will not speak of himself. What he hears, he will tell us. And reveal new things unto us. So, Father, we are praying. In the name of Jesus. Help us to understand the voice of the Holy Spirit. Help us to know his leadings. Help us to know what he is doing. Help us to follow him wholeheartedly. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help us to do what he wants us to do. Lord, we are asking for help. Lord, we are asking for help. Us, Lord, he wants to lead us into all truth. In the name he wants to lead us into all truth. Help me this to is understand. your will. Help me to Thank know. you for your help willingness. To understand, Lord. Thank you for in your willingness. Jesus. You are willingness to help us. You are willingness to lead us. For Lord, you know, when you do not lead us, Lord, we will fall astray. We will backslide. The enemy will consume us. And therefore, we thank Thank you that it is your will, Lord, to lead us by your power and by your spirit. So, Lord, we pray that you show us how he guides us, show us how he leads us, show us, oh Lord, help us to understand, make his voice clear to us, make his voice clearer to us, let us clearly hear his voice, even the circumstances you use, even the visions you use, even the dreams you use, even the signs you use, even the images you use, whatever means, oh God, we pray for clarity. We pray for clarity. We pray for clarity. We pray for clarity. That we will clearly understand. That we will clearly understand what he is saying in the name of Jesus at any given time. So Lord help us. So Lord help us. Help us to know. Help us to know. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse and 6, verse 5 and 6, Proverbs 3, verse, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall what? Direct your path. When you read up to 10, he's talking about three things. He says he will direct your path. It means you will succeed. And then he says, health to your flesh and strength to your bones. He's talking about health. You'll be healthy. Say your bones will be filled with plenty and your vows will overflow prosperity. So in this scripture, he's talking about three things, success, health, and prosperity. It all comes as what? As we are led by him. So to succeed, let me give you some few things. We need to learn and follow divine guidance. We need to walk on God's road. We need to put your total trust in him. Position him first in your heart, home, ministry, and business. Choose to acknowledge God in everything, in all your ways. Learn on, lean on God and not your own understanding. Resist the temptation of human logic, and natural reasoning. This is very important. Human logic and natural reasoning. Resist that temptation. Avoid hasty decisions in crisis. And then you must learn to receive daily briefing from the Holy Spirit. Daily briefing every day. Appear before him and ask him what he has for you for the day. That is what I call daily briefing. Every day, 
you know, when you ask the president, the prime minister, or the prime minister, they will tell you every day they receive security briefing. The security people, they will tell them what is happening. If there's anything going wrong, they will, he will, so he will know. They will not keep him ignorant. They will know. And that's what you need to know. Every day is different. So every morning before you come, I spend time with the Holy Spirit. And then receive some briefing from him so that you can act. So for you to succeed, learn and follow divine guidance. Walk on God's road. Put your total trust in him. Position him first in your heart, home, ministry, and business. Choose to acknowledge God in everything. Lean on God and not on your own understanding. Resist the temptation of human logic and natural reasoning. Avoid hasty decisions in crisis. And you must learn to receive daily briefing from the Holy Spirit. Say, Father, from today. Father, from today. I resolve to know. I resolve to and know. Follow divine guidance and follow divine guidance in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I shall walk on God's road. I shall walk on God's and road. avoid hasty decisions avoid in crisis. Hasty decision in crisis. I decide. I decide to lean on God. To lean on God and not on my own understanding. And not on my own. I put my total trust in I Him. Put my total trust in and Him and position Him first. And position Him in first. my heart. In my heart. My home. My home. Ministry. Ministry and business. And business. I choose. I choose. To acknowledge God to acknowledge in, God everything, in everything at all times, at all times and, resist and resist the temptation, the temptation of, human logic of human logic and natural reasoning. And natural reasoning. I, shall learn I shall learn to receive, to receive daily, briefing daily briefing from the Holy Spirit, from the Holy Spirit in, Jesus in Jesus' name. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Make a stand, make a choice, make a decision. Alabando Shadabaha, a decision to receive daily briefing, to acknowledge God in everything you do. Make that decision to lean on God, not on your own wisdom, not on your own understanding, to trust God in all your ways, to walk on God's road. Make that decision. Make that decision today. Make that decision today. Make that decision today. Decision today. Tell God from today, I refuse to lean on my own understanding. I refuse to let anything go at it. Hey, from today, I will lean on you. I will lean on you. I will learn of you. I will trust you. I will run to you. In crisis, I will not make hasty decisions. In crisis, I will not rush in to make decisions. I will wait on you. I will look on you. I will trust you. I will receive of God. I will make an effort. I will make an effort to receive daily briefing, to receive daily instructions from the Holy Spirit. So help us God. So help us God. So help us God. In the name of Jesus, help us to walk on God's road. Help us to avoid hasty decisions. Help us to lean on you. Help us not to trust on our own understanding. Help us to put our total trust in you. Help us to position you first in our lives. Help us to choose to acknowledge you in everything we do. Help us to resist human temptations, human logic, human reasoning. Help us to resist them. Help us to refuse them. In the name of Jesus, help us to depend on the Holy Spirit, on your direction, the way we should go. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. We give you honor. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are praying again. We are asking help. Say, Father, help me. Father, help me to know and follow divine guidance. To know and follow divine guidance. Acknowledge you all my ways. To acknowledge you all my ways. Trust you with all my heart. Trust you with all my heart. Depend on the helper. Depend on the helper. And accept him as the owner of my all. And accept him as the owner of all. Help me to resist. Help me to resist. Temptations of human, log human logic. 
to resist the temptation of human logic and natural reasoning and natural reasoning help me ask for help in ask for help Jesus. In ask for help Jesus. ask for help help to resist natural reasoning help to resist human logic Help to depend on God. Help us to lean on you. Help us to acknowledge you in all our ways. Help us to trust you. Help us to praise you first in everything we do. Help us, O oh God, to know you. Help us to learn your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are asking for help. Father, we are asking for help. Father, we are asking for help. Yes, help us in the name, of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help us in the name of Jesus. Father, help us in the name of Jesus. Father, help us in the name of Jesus. We are believing you for help. We are trusting you for help. You have promised to help us. It is your will, O oh God, to lead us. It is your desire to lead us. Lord, you are looking forward to leading us. Father, therefore, even as we come, in the name of Jesus, we are believing in the name of Jesus that you will help us. Father, help us. Father, help us. Help us, dear Lord. Help us, Lord, to follow divine guidance. Help us to acknowledge you in all our ways. Help us to trust you with all our hearts. Help us to depend on the helper, the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Help us to accept him as the owner of our all. Help us to resist temptation of human logic and reasoning in the name of Jesus. Father, we are asking for help. By your grace, help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us, Lord. Another important prayer. Father, Father, by divine power, by divine power, activate my eyes to see in the spirit. Activate my eyes to see in the spirit. And my ears to hear from heaven. And my ears to hear in from heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray for activation Kabados. of the ear and of the eye. Man, deni, mi, so that you can see. Zanuan, he is willing to brief you. Klana, ma, he is willing to give you briefing. Lo, brandi, he is willing to tell you. Zonda, ba, he is willing to talk to you. Yangira, do, it is up to you and up to me to hear. It is up to me to hear. When he gives the images, when he gives the trance, the vision, it is for us to see in the spirit. It is for us to see in the spirit. When we see in the spirit, we will avoid all the traps. We will avoid all the nets that he has laid at the wayside. We will avoid Avoid them all because of his leading. So, Father, help us. Activate my ears to hear, Lord. Activate my ears to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Activate my ears to hear from heaven. Activate my eyes to see in the Spirit. Activate my eyes to see in the Spirit. What this natural eye cannot see. Lord, activate my eyes to see in the name of Jesus. That in dreams I will see, in vision I will see, in images I will see, in circumstances I will see, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, this morning, Father, this afternoon, Father, this evening, Father, this night, by divine power, by divine power, let there be activation, let there be activation, let there be activation, activation of our eyes, activation of our ears. That we can hear, that we can see in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Father. Father. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. To stand against. To stand against every onslaught. Every onslaught. Attack. Attack. And offense. And offense. Of the enemy. Of the enemy. Help me, help me to know, to know and understand, and understand that the fight with the enemy, that the fight with the is enemy, a victory fight. It's a victory in fight in the name of Jesus. In the name of 
begin to pray, begin to pray. Ask God to strengthen you so that when the enemy brings the fight, you know that it's a victory fight. You will not be intimidated. You will not be afraid. You will stand and face him squarely and use the word of God. That says the law. That says the law. When you bring the fight, you will see it in advance and know that you will stand in a position of victory and know that you fight from victory. You don't fight for victory. You fight from victory. You are already victorious. You are already victorious. His word says, He leads us in triumphal procession. He leads us in triumphal procession. He leads us. He leads us. He leads us. For the leaders. For the leaders. For the leaders. From victory to victory. Leaders. From victory to victory. Leaders. From success to success. Leaders. Lead us, Father. Lead us, Father. Lead us, Father. From strength to strength. From strength to strength. From anointing to anointing. From grace to grace. From favor to favor. Father, lead us. Father, lead us. Father, lead us. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. In the, Bahosa, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I decide to walk by faith. I decide to walk by not faith. by sight. Not by sight. I reject failure. I reject failure. Reproach. Reproach. And poverty. And poverty. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I choose to believe. I choose to believe. In possibilities. In possibilities. I choose to believe. I choose to believe. In possibilities. In possibilities. Righteousness. Righteousness. Consecration. Consecration. Truth. Truth. And the word. And the word. I choose to believe. I choose to believe. In progress. In progress. In success. In success. In favor. In favor. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. So the power. That, so the power. That speaks. That speaks. Help. Help. Success, success, prosperity, prosperity, arise, arise, and speak on my behalf. And speak on my behalf. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Declare what you believe. Declare what you believe. Declare what you believe. Declare what you believe. And as the power that speak that to speak on your behalf, the power that speaks grace, the power that speak favor, the power that speak strength. The power that speak health. The power that speak healing. The power that speak consecration. The power that speak healing. The power that speak holiness. Arise and speak on our behalf. Arise and speak on our behalf. Arise and speak on our behalf. In the name of Jesus, we reject failure. We reject reproach. We reject reproach. We believe in possibility. We believe. In all things possible, we believe in possibility. Everything with God is possible. So we believe in possibilities. In the name of Jesus, we believe in faith. We believe in the word of God. We believe in His Son. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe, we believe. Your hand is on us. We believe you are in us. We believe everything is possible. Everything is possible. We believe in what you have said. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We speak success. We speak health. We speak strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 5 verse 9. Moreover, the profit of the land is for all. You are going to claim the profit of your land. I don't know which land you are. But those of us who are in Australia, the Bible is telling us the profit of this land, the gold, the diamond, the oil, everything that God has blessed this, you have a share. You are a shareholder in that. Hallelujah. So you are going to pray. 
my father and my god my father and my god let the gates let the gates doors doors and windows of this country and windows of this open country, unto me now open unto me in now. the mighty name of in jesus in the mighty name of jesus all my assigned helpers all my assigned helpers in this country in this country both human both human and angelic and angelic hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord arise and locate me arise and locate in me jesus in jesus name jesus begin name. to pray begin to pray Zunamara. command the gates to be open Zunamazende. the gates of this land Zunamara. the gates of australia Brandosi. be open in the name of jesus the doors of australia be open in the name of jesus the windows of australia be open in the name of jesus we claim our portion we claim our portion we claim our portion, the portion of the prophet of this land, the portion of the prophet of this land, even as we are citizens, even as we are residents, even as we live here. We claim our part of the We claim our portion. We claim our portion. We shall never be cheated. We shall never be cheated. We shall never be cheated. Our portion can never be we can never be deprived of our portion. Nothing can hinder our portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the gate be open. 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 Let the doors be open unto us. Let the doors be open unto us. Let the windows be open unto us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. These are some of the prayers you need to pray. That the gate of your city, the gate of your country be open unto you. If the gate is not open, you can't enter. The doors will be shut and the windows will be shut. You know doors represent opportunities and then windows represent blessings. But if the gate is not open, you'll be denied of all this. Say anointing that breaks the yoke. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Break every satanic limitation. Break every satanic yoke. Place upon my progress in this country. Place upon my progress in, in this country. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Begin Jesus. to pray. Begin to pray. Yes, Lord. Nothing every will limit you. Every you will be what God wants you to be in this country. You will be what God wants you to be. You are not here by accident. Me, oh God. You are not here by accident. God wrote about it. God designed it. God planned it. Before the foundation nation of the world will not be that you will be here will not be at this time I will fulfill in the name of Jesus. Father, I, I come against God says every, I will limitation. Go. I will go where God every says limitation. Every limitation. I will do what bless upon me I will have what and my family I will have in and my church nothing will and limit my me. leaders nothing will limit in the name me. of Jesus. I am not limited. We refuse limitation. Limited. Today, we refuse tomorrow, limitation. And forever. We will never in be limited. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Zonian Tabar, you will never be limited. Paros, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we will enjoy the profit of the land. We will enjoy the profit of the land. We will enjoy our portion. Nothing can hinder us. There will be no limitation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father. Let the cleansing power in the blood of Jesus. Let the cleansing power in the blood cleanse of Jesus. my root and foundation. Cleanse my root and foundation from every ancestral pollution. From every ancestral in pollution. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every blood ritual. Every blood ritual affecting my life. Affecting my life. Be neutralized. Be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. The blood begin of Jesus. to pray. Begin to in pray. The name of Let Jesus. the blood in arise and speak for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let the blood of I Jesus arise and speak for us. I the blood. Let the blood the of, Jesus of Jesus arise and speak for you, us. Oh God. We present the blood, the blood as our evidence. Let the blood wash we neutralize, me. Let the blood oh God, me. every in incantation. Jesus. We neutralize every attack. We neutralize every prophet, every scheme, every orchestration of the enemy in this land. Anything that is targeting against us. That is targeting us. Anything that law is working against us. We present the blood as our evidence. We present the blood as our evidence. 
our evidence of freedom, our evidence of freedom, our evidence of success, our evidence of strength, our evidence of breakthrough. We present the blood. Whoever the sun we present the blood. Is free in the name of Jesus. Any ancestral policy, he redeemed us. He brought us back. Any ancestral policy, Jesus, we neutralize it. Any environmental pollution, we neutralize it. Every territorial pollution, we neutralize it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Foundational evil inheritance. Foundational evil inheritance. From both sides. Both sides of my family. From both sides of my family. Release me now and die by fire. Release me now and die by fire. I curse. I curse. I rebuke. I rebuke. And prophesy. And prophesy. Against every embargo. Against every embargo. Place on my way of progress. Place on my way. In the progress. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Even in the midst. Even in the midst. Of this pandemic. Of this pandemic. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Dear Father. Therefore, I declare, I declare, my past life, my past life shall not make me a wasteland. Shall not make me a wasteland. Instead, instead, in God, in God, my life shall become a stream. My life shall become a stream. Even in the midst of this pandemic. Even in the midst of in this the pandemic. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make a declaration. Destroy all, all foundations. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Every demonic foundation. The first thing God told Gideon. The first thing the angel told him, destroy your father's altar before you can become useful in my hand. He told him, destroy your father's altar. That altar will not help you. Destroy that altar before I can do anything with you. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Ancestral altars, demonic altars. We set, family altars. we set it on fire. Family we altars. set it on fire. From both sides of my family. In we the name of Jesus. Side of Any embargo. Rest upon my we progress. Disengage Any from embargo. We disengage rest from upon them. the progress we of the time. From them. Any embargo. Rest upon my family. Fire and by hey, I neutralize it. I come and the against you. By the power and the blood. We disengage ourselves. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are no longer part of that order. I neutralize your blood. I frustrate your plan in the name I of Jesus. I dismantle your fortress in the name of Jesus. I crush your foundation in the name of Jesus. With the hammer of God, I crush your foundation. I crush your foundation with the hammer of God in the name of Jesus. We will not be under that altar. We will not be under that foundation. We will not be under that altar. We set it on fire. We set it on fire by the power of the blood in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By Jesus. the power of the death and Thank the resurrection you, of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Psalm 140 tells us that they have wicked desires. What we are going to do, our prayer is that we are going to set fire at their meeting places. Everywhere they meet. When we read Psalm, 40, Psalm 140, as we read, he said they have wicked desires. They have purpose to make my steps stumble. They have set traps for me. They plan evil things in their heart. They have hidden a snare for us. They have spread a net by the wayside. They want to feather their wicked scheme. And they want to be exalted at our expense. So we are going to pray and set fire at their camp. At their meeting place. And everywhere that your name is on their agenda, delete your name on the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And set that praise in, com in commotion. Yes, Lord. Set that praise in disarray in the name of Jesus. And declare they will never agree on anything concerning you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Anytime you are mentioned, there will be confusion. Yes, Lord. Anytime you are mentioned, yeah, yeah. hey, there will be disorder. In the name of they Jesus. will fight among themselves. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. It will be like the days of King Jehoshaphat. 
It will be like the days of King Jehoshaphat, where the enemies begin to fight among themselves, destroy themselves, and all that Israel had to do was to pick the booties, was to pick the gold, was to pick the diamond, was to pick the silver. In the name of Jesus, Father, everywhere that our name, hey, our names are on the agenda, we set that place on fire. We set that place on fire. And Father, we declare by the authority of the word. They would never agree on anything that concerns us. They would never agree on anything that concerns us. Anytime we are our names are mentioned, there will be fire. Anytime our names are mentioned, there will be commotion. Anytime our names are mentioned, hey, there will be disarray. In the name of Jesus, they will fight among themselves. They will fight among themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will destroy one another until they are all destroyed. They will destroy one another in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Let's pray on sicknesses before we leave. Every rain of affliction. Every rain of affliction designed by the enemy upon my life. Designed by the enemy upon I curse my life. it to dry up now. I curse it to dry up now. Every altar of witchcraft. Every altar of witchcraft. In my bloodline. In my bloodline. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. And burn to ashes. And burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority. I take authority. Over every spirit. Over every spirit. Behind any affliction. Behind every in affliction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak the life of God. I speak the life of into God. Any into any dead organ. Into any in my body. In my body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Begin Zagabaho to declare. Stakapa. Pray for divine I health. All my organs. Teach Pray for me. divine health. Body health is your portion. External and health is your portion. I command you to and speak work the life of God to the plan of into God. every I weak speak organ. The life of God. Speak the in life the of God of Jesus Christ into in every the weak of organ. Jesus Christ. Every dead organ. To ask God speak made you and declare the word of God, God made you every over God, that place. Every tissue, declare every bone, every marrow. Declare in the name of Jesus. Declare healing in the name of Jesus. Declare health receive strength over every receive the life of God. Over receive every the life disease. Of God. Over every illness, God. in the name of Jesus, that is not my, body God, that is life. That is my body receives life. My body receives life. I command in you to receive life. In the name of Jesus, I curse you out. I present my wife. I command you to win. I present my children. I command you to win. I present my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, fade away. To receive life. 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 To receive life.
First John four four and Romans eight thirty seven and Romans eight thirty seven and declare and declare that I shall not fail that I shall not fail and shall not disappoint you and shall not disappoint you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus begin to pray that prayer you will not fear God yes Lord. God has made some investment in your life He has made some investment in your life you cannot fail in the name of Jesus you cannot fail in the name of Jesus it is an error you cannot fail the one in you is greater than the one in this world. He leads you in triumphal procession. Hey, you are more than a conqueror. In the name of Jesus. In all things. In the name you are more than a conqueror. Yes, Lord. Not in some things. Yes, Lord. In all things. In all things. In all things. In all things. I declare in the Not name of Jesus. Shanda. Whatever I challenge am you are facing, I, am more I declare than a you are a conqueror. I overcome. Whatever situation I overcome. I overcome. that is confronting you, I, I declare you a conqueror. Whatever I'm is the challenge, every I declare you a conqueror. The, the, the I declare you a conqueror. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have overcome. I'm an you have overcome. I decree and he will lead you in his path of righteousness. Hear and hear he will well. never lead you I'm, astray. I'm, I'm an overcome. He will lead you on his road. He will lead you on his path. Declare you are more than a conqueror. In the name of Father, Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. we are more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus. I declare I walk in victory. the one in us I walk in victory. is greater than the I one in the world. In victory. I declare I walk in victory. I'm victorious I in victory. and I live from victory to victory. I declare in I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. In, in the name of Jesus. From victory to victory. I'm an overcomer. In the name of Jesus. Victory on every side. Thank you, Father. Victory on every side. I give you praise. In the name of Begin Jesus. to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Thank you for answering us. That from today he will lead you. Thank you, Lord. From today you will hear him clearly. In the name of Jesus. From today you will see in the spirit. Thank you, the Lord. From today you will understand visions and dreams. From today you will, when you see the images, God will give you understanding. When you see the signs, thank you, thank you. God will give you understanding. Thank you, Lord. So thank God, thank, thank God. You, thank He's you. a faithful God. Thank you, Lord. What I like about him is that he is willing to lead us. He is willing, just willing. That is his desire. That is what he is looking forward to. That we allow him to lead us. Oh, Shakyandale. Jesus, thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your willingness to lead us, for your willingness to guide us, for your willingness to instruct us, for your willingness to, willingness to hold our hands and take us step by step on this life journey. Father, we thank you. Even as we have prayed, we, give you we receive help. We give you praise. We receive strength. In the name of Jesus. We receive strength. In the name of Jesus. We receive strength. In the name of Jesus. Strength to do your bit. Strength to obey you. Help to obey you. Help to look on you. Help to trust you. Help to lean on you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes, lift our hands to heaven. I declare in the name of Jesus, the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Every moonlight incantation against your life, against your marriage, your children, finances, job, business, health, ministry, I command it to backfire in the name of Jesus. I curse every power monitoring your life and stealing from you to restore whatever he has stolen and command it to die in the name of Jesus. Any power from your place of birth calling your name for evil, I command it to fall down and perish in Jesus' name. Thank you again for coming. God richly bless you. Stay connected. If anything, let us know. And we will see what God can do. Once again, keep yourself in the love of God. Amen.